Perfect. Here we're using the RC Castle twin 50 millimeter uh, ring afterburner. Um, you can see this is the fuselage where the engines are uh, before we uh, start the project. And in this picture here, you see the opening where the, um, the uh, engines are. Here you can see that um, I carefully cut the cone off of um, the fuselage, right? And then here, it, actually this cone belongs on this side. And you can see that somewhere here, hopefully you can see it, if you can see a little dot right there where my finger's at, little blue dot, that's supposed to line up with that blue dot, okay? So that I make sure that when I glue it back together, it looks just like it was when I cut it apart. And I carefully cut between the, the bronze and the, um, the silver of the airplane or the gray of the airplane. Okay, so that uh, <clears throat> I didn't have to worry about um, painting too much. Here's one of the exhaust cones where I cut basically a ring here for the, um, uh, for, for the afterburner ring. And then just to add a little more light, I cut just a little bit, maybe a half inch of additional material uh, around the, um, the cone as it gets smaller, right? Uh, so that the LEDs, uh, uh, LEDs, LED, uh, when the light gets emitted, could, could show more. And then I painted it with some, some silver um, spray paint. Okay, here we're gonna test the uh, afterburner uh, inside of uh, one of the exhaust uh, cones, okay? Um, you can see right here that basically carved out the, the cone just a little bit to insert the afterburner ring, okay? Uh, here's, here's an example of the, on the other side of the cone, uh, this is towards the fuselage, it's a fuselage piece right here. Basically, we're gonna wire in the um, the ring like this. We'll just cut a little slit and then at, at this point here is where it can go through where the ESC wires are going through. Anyways, let's do a little test of the um, afterburner here. Oh, 
Okay, you can see the afterburner when it's on low has a, a, a slight blue tint to it, okay? And we'll turn it up and you just see the blue get a little darker. Eventually it'll switch to orange and that gets a little brighter and then it'll switch to red. Okay, and you can see that there, okay? Um, in this case, I'm using uh, the instructions call for a power supply, input power supply of, I don't know if you can see it, 11.1 uh, .1 to 12.4, 12.4 12 12.6 volts. So this is a, uh, a 4S, which is what I've, uh, we've com converted the uh, plane to. So it's using 4S uh, ESCs and, and motors. Um, if I remember rightly, this was more along the lines of about 15 volts. So, so far, a little controller board here for the afterburner. Um, I haven't felt it get hot and it hasn't burned out and the LEDs seem to be working fine. So I'm gonna go forward with trying to put, uh, you know, the, the 4.8, uh, which is really more than 14.8 .8 voltage, okay? Usually much higher than that typically. That's what I'm going to drive with, with this with and hopefully that works. So here you can see the cones that are, are reinstalled glued back on and you can see the wiring coming from the uh, the ring LEDs. And here that wiring is running through the uh, wire tray along with the ESCs all the way up to the front. And we tidy them up a little bit more uh, so that they'll fit in, in the various um, trays there. Here you can see the controller board uh, inside the fuselage. And the red and black wire that I'm holding uh, is going to a connector. Uh, and the other end of that connector is hooked directly into the ESCs. So you could disconnect that connector and uh, basically disable the uh, lights. And then here is the uh, controller board uh, mounted to the fuselage with some foam tack uh, to make it stable. You can see it right there next to the receiver on the other side. And this is the original fuselage, uh, the way it was uh, constructed. And I had a hard time with the tape there. So what I did was I got a roll of gray tape that was the off, co off color. It wasn't the same color. And I used that to seal the, um, the engine compartment. And then uh, because the tape was the wrong color, I painted the tape. And I actually think it looks pretty good.